Hi, and welcome back to my next play of Dragon Age. Um, we just recruited this cool, um, super muscular dude called Iron Bull. And now we are going back uh, to Haven, where we are located, basically. Um, oh, we can't go to him? Even the best, even in these trying times, good help is not so hard to find. Explore him and meet some of the Chris's crafting masters. Which is like a basic quest which I've never um, finished. Anyways. Um, okay, apparently we are not fully done with the um, Iron Ball quest. My bad. Um, I thought since we will have him as a companion now <laughs> that the work was done, but I suppose not. I wish to advance to the rendezvous point. Whatever that is supposed to mean. Um, the like rendezvous point is like a meetup point, right? And we already met up with him. So, huh? Uh, is it like, I don't know, is it like um, a weird bug? Or is it just like me being confused for no reason? Um, I don't know. We're just gonna go up here and see. Um, hmm. Okay. I suppose we are uh, nearly there. I know, I feel like it would be easier blah, to travel by horse, but then again, it's like, it takes so long um, for, for, well, it doesn't take long for the horse to spawn, but then you have to like mount it and everything. And like by the time you've gotten on that horse and all that again, it's like you would have already been there. So yeah, um, <laughs> you're just gonna go. Um, I've again, I've oh, oh, with you, uh, walk this weird creepy pathway. Okay, it's not creepy, but beware of falling stones. I was gonna say the note looks creepy. Um. Yeah, it would be not that great to get hit by a stone right now. I do admit that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna. Okay, we just covered a new region. Great. Like, okay, and. Um, like the rendezvous point is. Oh! Um, I can see someone there. I don't. Oh, the enemy is. Oh, what's like the whole quest? Um, like, do we have to, like. Take care of some business of Iron Ball to like, you know, finish this or whatever. Um, I have no idea. But yeah. Oh my god, this evil dog. I'm not fighting him. Uh, yet I'm not fighting him because I'm dead, apparently. Um, that's lovely. Um, great. How do I switch character? Okay. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I mean. Yeah, wh where are you trying to run exactly? Please tell me. Huh? I was assuming some cutscene's gonna happen now, but nope. Again, is this not the rendezvous point? I, I, what even is <laughs> The quest confuses me so much. I uh, maybe should just uh, look it up. Cleaning the house. Inquis Inquisition soldiers were dispatched to meet with a group of bandits operating on the storm coast. The Inquisition lost contact with its soldiers before the planned rendezvous with the bandits. Oh. Okay, so basic, basically, probably. Um, where's their map? Okay. Um, bandit notes. These notes were found near murdered Inquisition soldiers. Cool. And the papers are not crumbled or torn, as though it were left behind instead of dropped. It's like on purpose, right? To like leave a message. It's not our place to disagree. They're attempting to set themselves up a, 
along the shore and we have orders. We are the sword, not the hand that wields it. Okay, it's so like mercenaries or you taught me that. Okay, it seems like someone um, who's like not close to Iron Bull, but like knows him at least, you know. Um, if they're, if they're worthy, let them come with the mercy's crest. The plate of Hazarian will listen. You will only get yourself cast out or worse. I'm like with totally. Yeah, pretty much. I'm like we're still gonna fight. Um, I mean, everyone's in a really bad place. Um, like skill wise, and like just like considering what um weapons and um just like full on equipment wise but yeah sure let's fight um what can go wrong uh, well um many things i think <laughs> but uh sure let's just go okay um optional requisite was cleaning house Option a requisition mercy's crest to change the banner. Just deep so some find the banners leave them. Why wait isn't certain stone like literally a stone? Why do I need to find that? Hmm. I am confused. I was just gonna say I'm just as confused on how to get down there, but nope. Um I remember this place. I I think we so can't fight them like totally mm -mm. <laughs> nope um am i gonna try regardless yeah probably yeah let's check it out <laughs> okay um maybe first we should switch um maybe first we should see if we found some better weapons i don't think so <laughs> but there's a chance. Okay, we are a rogue. We have daggers. We have pretty good daggers, I must say. Um, like given where we are at the game so far, that's really good, I think. Um, why is he using ice magic? It's it's winter. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I have great equipment. He does not. He doesn't need it apparently. Um, he uses t two weirdos. Uh, I mean, the other one is blue, but this does more damage, so fine, I guess. Um, that's a bad weapon. Um, <laughs> and those. Okay, hmm, okay. Um, maybe, uh, maybe check armor out first. I must say, I really like Sarah's outfit, like her default outfit. Um, not only create costume design, but like the outfits in itself is, is just like pretty, I think. Um, so I'm gonna start with me and give me the best outfit. Um, simply because um, I it's just like a force of habit because you uh, can fight with your rift power stuff in the game. And obviously none of the other characters can do that. So, oh, it's pink. Cool. Um, so it's more important for me to be alive, you know, besides, um, I can go invisible and <laughs> when I sometimes do this, I just, uh, I don't want to say I, I run away, but, um, <laughs> well, you know, you can just like go invisible and run away if you just like need to get through some place or something. I mean, it's good, but where is it now? I know we have like items, but it is so unimportant. I just, I don't care for them. Let's just try. See again now, I'm going invisible. And I need to, pa uh, I need to see if I can just move part past them. I can. So now I could theoretically see if I just need to kill the leader, which I don't I need to kill everyone. 
but this gives us like a great start, you know, which we would not have had otherwise. Um, I still don't think things are gonna well, work out. I can check him. Oh, so many is so confusing. Hold position. Attack my target. Just like everyone attack my target. Oh god. How do I leave this mode? I'm pressing T. Okay. The settings are like so weird, I swear. I'm like full on alone in this. Um, where's my team? No follow up. Oh my god, such a jungle. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm a jungle man. I'm allowed to make bad jokes. Uh, no. But. Why are there, like, is it a um, Stormcast thing that there's so many dogs? Um, like, constantly trying to fight you. Um, I remember, oh my god, it's not looking good, it's not looking good, it's not looking good. I'm spamming potion. Um, the tank is dead, which is like, my... I can't revive him. Great, great, everyone is dying. Uh, I must say it was pretty close, like maybe if we would have gotten there with more than like two potions, um, we could have done something. But I remember going to this camp and being so outleveled and outskilled and like everything. Like, hmm. See, you know, this little thing is so useful because, like, technically here there's only like five dogs we have to fight, and something I sometimes do in combat is I just, I just try to keep our characters alive because if they are we, if they respawn, they have like some health left, right, and then I just uh, go on trying to revive our characters constantly, and then they just automatically do like some of the combat for you, you know. Um, Cause like when every character is dead, then you have a problem, right? But if you still have one or two in your life, you can like uh, do things. I'm trying. So what I'm trying to do is whatever they're like fighting or doing their thing. I'm just like going, right, right, right now I'm not going invisible. Usually I just like go invisible and try to revive them all. So they can at least kind of keep fighting. Yep! And for some <laughs> weird bug. Oh, or maybe because. Oh, wait. Okay, do you like. Um, and everyone who's ever. who's already played Dragon Age. Um, when they. Um, like when the characters see when they are. We like, like when you level up, does everyone just like come back to life? Because that um, was so useful and it's such a mechanic can exploit so easily. Hopefully that would be like insane. So, huh. Also, I'm still having some issues with the controls. Um, I really need to get a controller. Like I played a game of controller and like it was one of my favorite games but now on PC it's quite annoying. Hmm. Anyways. Don't hate me. <laughs> Heart and Hightown, Chapter 2 by Varric. The Magistrate Dunwald's butler had the air of a man who had never risked me for dawn in his life. I wish that was me. Oh. Um, he, stared down, he stared down his nose at Don and Renukovic. Sounds Polish or something. And his partner, Jeflum as if he were on some lofty balcony above them, instead of standing in a parlor in his dressing gown. Okay, um, so basically, with all of this stuff, he was just saying, yeah, like, here, the audacity. <laughs> the magistrate is in this place. This can wait until a reasonable hour, he gestured for the guards to see themselves out. The magistrate is dead, Cullen corrected him. Wake the household. <gasps> oh no, such drama. I don't even know who, know who these people are, but yeah. Um, as the butler left, Jeflam shifted uneasily in his new armor. Sh shouldn't they kept me here? Um, you want to go back to the barracks? Be my guest. Donnan seems not like a nice person. Okay. 
Then I said with a shrug, only half listening, as they studied the collection displayed in the room. A dozen ancient swords lay nestled in his play cases, protected from dusk and prying fingers. He moved to the lift the first he moved to lift the lid of the nearest one. Jemlin started to protest, but then the doors opened. She had eyes, the colours of topaz. I don't know what colour that would be. <laughs> And dark hair that fell across her brow like sword strokes. Okay, it's actually a badass description. She strode into the parlor with such dignified elegance that Donna didn't realize for several minutes that she that she was clad in a house coat and not in a ball gown. Uh, yeah, so it's all about the way you carry yourself. Thanks, Varric. I could have summed that up in one sentence. You have news about my husband. What seem is then this time? Forget to pay his bill at the rose. She seated herself and indicated the guards do the same. Donna nodded at the crew to speak up. Javelin started, no, Lady Dumoult, actually, she interrupted him with a wave. Marielle, please. Lady Marielle, your husband has been murdered. Then took over the flustered recruit. Um, when did you see him last? Marielle started from her jewel colored eyes white and her voice cracked on. Uh, murdered? Seamus? But a heartbeat, maybe too passed, and she again became the perfect picture of Noble Grace. Well, that was fast. I saw him at dinner. She answered in a tone anyone might use to comment on the weather. He left before dusk. He said he was going to play wicked. He's going to play wicked Grace with the Comte de Favre. I can't speak French. I can only speak Latin, sorry. Ah, uh, wicked Grace sounds really familiar. Huh. Um, do you know of anyone who might have wanted him dead? Joan asked softly. I bet like a dozen people, right? Hmm. People want magistrates dead on principle. Told ya. She gave him a wry smile, but her voice grew pained. Criminals, political rivals, even people in this direct district who disagreed with him. She drifted off, lost in thought, and then turned to Don an ice blazing. A week ago, a letter came. Vague threats. I thought it was nothing, but... It upset Seamus. Who sent it? Donna asked. It wasn't signed, but the seal was six cross swords. <sighs> I feel like maybe we should know um, whose logo has six cross swords. I do not, but well. Um, there's no one we can free here. Um, I am so disappointed. It was so like useless to come here. Um, I really hope there, there would be like some good uh, loot or something. Huh. Anyways, we've finished like um, a lot of things here and we can finally go to Haven. So yeah, let's go back. Um, <laughs> the Pentecost, uh, Cassandra's one, our other tanks. Apparently it's also like a royal family. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, so we talk to our companions. Because maybe they have like some opinion on Iron Bull, you know. Um, I'm not in the mood to flirt with Cullen <laughs> Okay, bye. Um, hmm. Are we still in the Oh, here we have them. Um, Um Yeah, but it's but the way they carry themselves. Great. Um Yeah, why is he just standing around? I see it, but I don't know, I like commanding bigger groups of people. Um, you know I'm standing right here, like, I'm a perfect leader, let me. That's not nice. Why not me? 
I mean, yeah, we can see rifts and everything, but like, just because, why wouldn't I? If I can be a leader, I'm gonna be one. Duh! It's really cold in here. Um. Yeah, they just picked the hottest. Not just one power, but... He's so, like, wild. Why, why is it built like that? <laughs> it must be so hard finding clothes. Oh. Yeah, the Inquisition wants a lot of things. What's up, Parrot? Uh, it's, it's gear. It's ugly, but does the job. Yeah, we're not. I like him. Okay. I mean, I can. Um, I know you. I think you can even put like runes, on, like runes and weapons. Oh. <laughs> and then we can talk. Okay, and then let's do it. What? Crafting. To craft your armor weapons, you need a schematic and enough materials. Okay. Um, we can do a dagger. Oh. Oh. Utility, offense, defense, damage, and armor. Facing iron in offense, I guess you want to. Okay. Uh, but how do you know which slot is what? I never paid attention to those. Um, good thing I'm learning about it now. Um, heal on kill sounds very promising, but we don't have enough um, cotton. Barrier damage bonus sucks. More attack, okay, but how would you put plate, like, plate wave on a dagger? So, like, I need, like, clothing materials. Hmm. Okay, so we basically just do more attack. Okay. Um, you got an achievement. Cool. Um, brutal knife. <laughs> yeah, um, well, I feel like they have... Oh, <laughs> even caps great. I just had to go off the name. Like, brutal knife. It's not a basic knife, okay? Like, it's a brutal one. Be prepared. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so here are runes. Um, we can add fire. I don't know where we got it. I feel like we should not have that already. But we can add fire to every weapon. I am hyped. I love fire. I have a fire tattoo. Um, <laughs> okay, we can also make. Um, uh, okay, anyways, we can upgrade our clothing, but I don't want to say I don't believe in it, but like, we're gonna be switching the armor around so often. I don't know. Oh, we also don't have any upgrades available. Okay, cool. I can craft armor. We also don't have any material available for that. Okay, so we're gonna be um, needing to pick up new material. Uh, I mean, he said talking to. We could talk to him again. They all like like we have so many people. I don't. Okay, um, we already asked him that. 
Okay, we're just gonna leave the convo. <laughs> Bye. Um, but yeah, basically, like if we look at our inventory, we now have the new weapon we made, the super pretty knife. And it's like way, ooh, they just keep comparing. It's like way stronger um, than the knives we already have. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is um, all weapons and like armor you craft yourself is like so overpowered in Dragon Age. It's a joke. Um, let's uh, go back to the war table <laughs> and uh, yep. Um, but for now I'd say thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.